there is some comfort in the fact that the, that he is a man without convictions. Um, so you knew him, he, right? You can take us back. You know, I I always I you knew yeah. him. You knew him when he was yeah. sort of a normal well, person. He yes, I mean he was he was obviously very bright. He was en route to um, to Oxford University on a Soros scholarship. How's that for irony? Um, and and um, he he asked uh, he asked me to organize a dinner party in our home to meet quote unquote important uh, friends among them George Soros by the way um, and he's he spoke good English he was perfectly perfectly uh, charming and uh, and very open to their ideas and you know not a whiff of uh, of of this wild notion of illiberal. Uh, the the Ill, Ill, illiberal liberalism that he's since floated, whatever that means, um, and um, and and then uh, slowly he uh, he turned into um, you know power. They we all know corrupts, and and he's gained a lot of power. There there are no dissenting, virtually no dissenting voices allowed in Hungary. Um, roughly ninety percent of the media is 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 Orban controlled. The judiciary. Um, has been uh, fixed to be Orban friendly, and he he is he is now um, a a, um, a man in trouble. And again, in that there's there's a promise for all of us in trouble because of the war in Ukraine, which is right next door to him, and because it is no longer acceptable uh, for a member of the EU, a member of NATO, Hungary is both. To be um, to be anti this war, mm -hmm. and that is to say anti Ukraine, as he was at the outset, and to be that uh, cozy with uh, with Moscow, and the EU is finally finally doing the right thing by by Orban and Hungary, and withholding uh, billions in funding uh, for Hungary, desperately needed by Hungary, um, with the proviso that he has to clean up the judiciary clean up the corruption he you know it's a mafia state basically i mean it's orban and his and his buddies the um, the, the equivalent of the russian oligarchs who who have gotten very wealthy off the land and now they're under tremendous pressure to clean up their act and in that before they get the eu funding so you know this this is a tragic war in ukraine i don't mean to to put a, a different gloss on that but the but the fact is that this war is very bad news for a guy who is basically a man of no conviction and a culture warrior that is to say he doesn't want to be dealing with a war he wants to be dealing with i will uh, protect the nation against the muslim hordes and the and lgbt lgbtq right. you know the decadent west the, uh, we're not talking <laughs> about that anymore